In this video, I'm going to be replacing the hard drive in my Asus laptop with this Crucial M4 256GB SSD. So the first thing that you're going to need is a T5 bit in a screwdriver. So it's very small, you can see it's T5, there's 10 of these little screws around the edge. I've already taken these out. Now this back panel, it's metal, and you got to, once you take the screws out, just run your hands along here. You do have to pop it out a little bit. Just be careful not to bend it. See if you can get your fingernails or something underneath the edges there. And it really kind of sticks at this part back here by the vent. And by this part of the side over here. So let me see if I can get this. It might be helpful to have some kind of tool, some kind of plastic tool to pry with. It's just stuck over here on this side. Well, it looks like it was because I had the power plug still in it, so my fault. There we go. Alright, so you see that panel came off. It feels pretty delicate, so be careful with it. Not to bend it around the edges. Okay, so inside here, we'll see the middle of it, and we have uh, one thing that I was disappointed to find out is that it has two four gigabyte um, pieces of RAM in it rather than one eight gigabyte, which means you can't buy an eight gigabyte to upgrade it to sixteen gigabytes. But so you'd have to buy two identical pieces of RAM if you want to upgrade the RAM. Um, so you see these nice little fans right here, uh, optical disk drive, the Asus, uh, uh, this is either the CPU or the GPU, I can't tell which, actually I think this is the GPU and the CPU is right there. So there's the battery, there's the four speakers right there. Everything looks good. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take out the hard drive. This is a 1 terabyte 5400 RPM hard disk. So now I have a little miniature screwdriver here, a little miniature Phillips head. There are four screws around the edges here. I'll take these out first. Okay, I've skipped ahead and taken out these four screws. Now there's two other screws right down here holding on this bracket for the optical disk drive. So I'll go ahead and take those out. And then you take off this bracket here for the optical disk drive. And then you can lift up. This part you have to be kind of careful about. The hard drive is now loose, it's connected to this little circuit board there. So what I'm going to do is hold the circuit board still and just pop it out like that. So there it is. Now this is, uh, the hard drive itself is connected to this little metal, metal bracket. So I'm going to take these screws out and I'll skip ahead. Okay, I've skipped ahead. I've got the bracket free from the hard drive. I'm going to go ahead and put the hard drive aside. And I'm going to take my SSD. I'm going to put it in the bracket just like the old one was in. And I'll skip ahead once I've got the screws in. Okay, I've got the bracket on, and now I'm going to reattach the hard drive. I'll put my finger behind there to give it a little bit of support, and just do one side and then the other. And there it is. 
Okay, now we just need to screw this bracket back down. I'm going to go ahead and do that, then I'll skip ahead. Okay, I've got the hard drive attached, the bracket put back on. Now we're ready to put the case back on. Now that's the easy part. Getting the hard drive physically swapped out, that's super easy, as you can see. Getting the operating system transferred over is the, the difficult part. So uh, this laptop comes with Windows 8. Uh, it's not compatible with Windows 7. None of the drivers uh, work in Windows 7. Uh, well, most of them don't work and, or work very well. Um, I actually tried it before. I've got Windows 7 right now on this hard drive. Uh, I'm going to give it another try. Uh, however, I can't recommend it. I had a lot of trouble. I uh, spent a lot of time trying to get Windows 7 to work. But Asus, like all these, all the components, the USB drive, the Wi-Fi adapter, the video card, uh, battery management, um, keyboard functions, uh, BIOS functions, none of the drivers are designed to work. Uh, none of those uh, hardware have drivers that work with Windows 7 or are designed to work with Windows 7. So um, the better thing to do it would be stick with Windows 8. Um, there is a way in Windows 8 to save a, a recovery partition on a USB drive and then boot from that recovery partition. I haven't tried it. I don't know all the steps or how hard it is, but that would be the better way um, to get your operating system transferred onto this hard drive. All right, thanks for watching. I also am going to have a video up shortly for a, a product review. I'm going to go through the features of it and show you what I like and what I don't like about this, this laptop. Thanks for watching.